They are split seconds that capture the danger, adrenaline, and skill of action sports. The work of a photographer who understands what it takes because he's been on both sides of the lens. Yeah, since I was a kid, swimming was a, when I was a baby. My family just put him on a pool. <laughs> yeah, to surfing, to biking, skateboarding, free diving, scuba diving, snowboarding. But now Juan Ogaz is devoted to documenting others, some of the best in the Northwest, like BMXer Mike Hoder. He's just a good kid. He's got a good head on his shoulders, and he's, you know, he's on the right path. Juan started down that path at the age of 12 when he picked up his dad's camera. He never used it, and he saw me using the camera and like taking photos. And he went through the photos, and he was like, "Oh, those are good photos." So he gave it to me, and since then I've been just taking photos. It also helped him deal with a huge life change, moving to the U.S. from Argentina. I help me a lot. It's kind of like my peaceful side. Just grabbing a camera makes me happy. But getting the perfect shot isn't easy. <laughs> Especially during surf shoots on the Washington coast. Like, there's a lot of things involved. You can see like current, big waves, surfboards coming straight to you. Okay. Skateboarding has also proven hazardous. Like I was taking a photo and this support just shot out and it hit me in the face and I got a couple stitches. But he also got the shot, a feat that can feel just as good as landing a trick. With photography, it's kind of like you're guessing, and then when you get in the car, you're like, oh, I have the shot, yeah. <laughs> a profession and a passion, capturing an extreme split second in time. Whoa, that looks sick. Oh, wow, yeah. And immortalizing it.